Look who's joining us now, Michael V. Welcome to our show. What's going on, guys? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everything? Thanks for uh, taking the time. Congratulations, brother. You killed it on your uh, feature film directorial debut. H how'd you like being behind the camera, and would you like to do it again? <laughs> I absolutely loved it. Um, honestly, uh, I got the bug, man. I I, I can't wait to uh, to step back behind the camera and uh, do it again on, on another project. But just you know, you know, being on set for so long, you know, finally getting a chance to like you know execute your full vision for a project is um, is an experience that I'll never forget. And, and to do it with a franchise that I'm so familiar with and to kind of take all over and push it forward was a really special moment for me. Yeah. We love this franchise. What can you tell us about the comic book series that's coming out? Uh, so um, that's something I'm really excited about because I've, I've been working on that under the radar for the last couple of years. Um, and it's really just expanding the Creed verse. You know, um, you know, there's no no secret that Amara was such a huge, you know, um, character in, in Creed three, and 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 where where I want to take the franchise moving forward, and and explore different lenses and legacy and tradition, and what traditionally Mario, you know, with boxing is always fathers and sons, fathers and sons. But I thought it was really interesting to kind of explore the father and daughter dynamic and what a girl dad really means. Um, so to be able to kind of have Adonis in that light, and 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 then throughout this comic. Uh, teaming up with Boom Studios, which is an amazing collaborator, and, and and really telling a different, you know, it explored different characters within the Creed canon without actually having to go directly to the film. So this is like a really big uh, research and development for me and really seeing what the fans and the audiences want to see moving forward. That's awesome, Don't man. Don't count, count us, our little girls. Hey, hey no, well, coincidentally. Oh, you with the guys? See you? See you? Look at the hey, guys. Look at that. It goes <laughs> down. <laughs> you know what's funny, Michael? We just had, uh, coincidentally, Senecia Estrada, world champion, uh, here visiting the set the other day. Her dad's her trainer, so this is right down that alley, And man. Layla Ali came and said she loves the fight. She loved being in there. How Has, has uh, boxing uh, now become part of your regular workout routine, or is it, are you like, okay, I need a time out from it after, uh, after all that? <laughs> No, I think I think it's not my regular regular routine, but I'm it's something that I mean I'm always shadow boxing. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to like actually find another gym close here locally that I can actually start visiting more often and get more reps. And I know I mean I actually should just hit you about that because you're always in the gym. I got you uh, throwing, throwing hands. But um, but no, it's it's a part of me now. You know, the last nine years I've been playing this, you know, this character and and and, and you know the the world of, uh, of boxing, the sport of boxing let me in um in its community. So you know, I want to be an active contributor, and, and, I, and, I, and I love it, man. It's, it's a great exercise, as you know, and it keeps, keeps you sharp and mentally mentally focused. Absolutely. I don't want to be the you. Don King over here, but I could set up a little sparring or something. <laughs> I know a gym around the corner. Got, I'm, I got a great gym for him. I, I want to take you, Michael. I got you. Check I got you. Hair. I got your back. I know a great gym will go. I, I'll, I'll get your stuff. We'll, we'll definitely. We'll definitely right. I'm Sounds coming great. with my phone. I'm going to film that right there. Hey, but let's talk, because uh, obviously I love how fitness is a top priority yeah. and part of your life, and you've recently partnered with Propel Fitness Water for a new initiative. T t tell us about it and uh, wh why you wanted to be involved. Yeah, so Propel was one of my brand sponsors with Creed Three, and the relationship worked out so well. You know, I heard about some of the initiatives that they were that they you know planned on doing with the rebrand of their product, <clears throat> and Propel Propel Your City was something that I thought was was amazing. You know, we're we're rolling out the four cities. Um, to start, and we're really pairing up with organizations and companies that are already doing great work in their communities already, and we're really just amplifying that message. You know, we started here in LA, Walt Good LA, um, and and they specialize a lot in hiking, meditation, yoga, um, um, and 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 you know, they never really had a, a physical fa a facility, an actual physical place that everybody can come consistently week, day in and day out. So Propel came in and we're, we're creating a facility for them. We're building a facility to be able to house, you know, Walt Good LA. And we want to take different models of different cities. Each place needs something different. So I think when this first round for us is really listening to the communities and the cities and, and realizing what they need. And then how can we add value? You know, how can we amplify that message? How can we, you know, you know, um, build on the culture and the community that they got that, that those companies are building in each city? So Detroit, Atlanta, um, Houston, and Los Angeles. That's where we're starting with, and we're going to continue to build from there. Oh, that's great! Great, job. great cities. Spread right that there. message. Yeah. Um, well, Michael B, this marks ten years since your breakout role in Fruitvale 10? Station. Oh, um, ten. Wow. 
Back then, we asked you what was the most meaningful reaction you received about your performance. Let's look what you said. I think um, from Oscar's mom and uh, his aunt, you know, um, one thing that always sticks out in my head is when um, his aunt stood up at um, Sundance at, during the Q&A and said that there were certain scenes in the movie where I couldn't tell the difference between Oscar and myself. And I was like, you know, I, I say that a lot, but it, it, it sticks with me. It means a lot because, you know, during the making of, of the film, it was on a, a daily conscious effort. Like, damn, his mom, or his, his daughter, his family's going to see this, you know? Um, and, and to get their approval and their thumbs up, it means the world to me. That's awesome, oh, man. man. <laughs> Came out the Ooh, gate strong right there. What, what, what you remember about that particular time in your life? Like, what was going on with you? Man, that you just, yeah, I was just, yeah, it just took me back, man. I, I think for me it was, um, man, as a young kid trying to figure it out, you know, I, I think, you know, at that time, you know, Trayvon Martin, you know, that shooting had just happened and, and, and you no, know, maybe a year or so, uh, before that interview, but during the filming of that movie, that was always on my mind. And as a, you know, as as a, you know, as a black man trying to figure out how to express himself through his art, I found that project in you know Ryan Coogler and, and Oscar Grant Fruit Bill Station. But that moment of just figuring out, you know, am I a lead actor? Can I open the film? Is this you know it, you know you know yes, I've been working in you know television and stuff of like that before, you know years prior, but just my career not knowing you know, but super ambitious, very hungry and and willing to willing to work to figure it out. Um, that that was a lot of dreams. 10 years ago, you know, a lot of things that, I, you know, that I wanted to achieve and, 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 and I've been fortunate enough, you know, to, 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 to achieve a lot of those, those dreams thus far. And, and, and I can't wait to push it forward. I'll uh, continue to make an impact on people. You know what I remember? It was a little bit after that interview, but that great interview, your mom's rum cake. Became popular <laughs> after that. Is she still making it? Oprah's still yes, raving about that it. Is true. My mom's rum cake is definitely in high demand, especially around the holiday <laughs> season. I will make sure you guys get we your. We need it. Uh, Look at Stedman whooping it down. Damn. Stedman. <laughs> yeah, and Oprah. Yeah, and Gail and everybody. Yeah, it, they're, they're on the list. Like, I'm gonna make sure you guys get, get the uh, you know, mom's one, legendary rum cake. That's, that's one of the things so I always liked about you too. I think, as a matter of fact, last time I saw you, you were with your mom. I'm a big mama's boy too, so <laughs> I like keeping family around. And the fact that you were with your mom right there, uh. I said, okay, that's cool. That's my guy right there. Yeah. You gotta keep the family yeah, close right there. She won't always, hesitate still bro. to put you in check. I bet too. <laughs> what hesitate? She's doing it constantly, even on vacation. She's like, I think she's like, she's with her girlfriends in Italy right now, having a great time. But she always checks in and you know checks in on me too. So it's yeah. it's uh yeah, you know that that um you know mother son relationship. You know I'm a mama's boy too. It, it's it's uh she's close to my heart and yeah. You know she's been the motivation and the drive. You know my dad as well. It's 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 uh you know it's a family business. Yeah. That's What's the best. something silly she says to you? I, I'm a mom of a son, so I'm ridiculous. She always calls me Bukari. She calls me my middle name. She don't call me Michael. Bukari. Whenever I hear Bukari, Bukari. my ears go up I'm like oh. Shit. <laughs> what, what needs to be done? You know, that, that's always the, the, the signal. Okay, good to know, man. Great hey, we appreciate you. your time. Congrats on the new initiative. For more information on Propel's Propel Your City Project, check out the website. That looks awesome.